Hello, welcome to Smart Asset. This short tutorial is a quick guide on how to create a job request or fault notification via the Smart Asset browser. When you're in the browser, you can go to the Add New shortcut located in the top right corner and select Job Request. Alternatively, you can click the Job Request tab. You must select by selecting the relevant asset that you want to associate this job request with. You'll do this by searching using either the asset code or asset description. Once the correct asset has been found and selected, you can continue to proceed populating the field located in the general tab screen. In job request field, this is where you'll be able to insert what the job request is about. For instance, repairing a flat tire. In the instruction section, this is where you'll write what happened. The tire went flat on my way home. Upon completing the fields in the general tab, click on the details tab. In the details tab, you'll notice a few additional prompts. Executing shop ID. This is the shop that will be carrying out the scope of works. Owned by shop. These are user defined options and relate to who owns the body of work. Priority. These are user defined definitions used to add further detail to the job and they can be used for reporting and job series. Just like priority, these are also user defined and can be used for reporting. Once you've reviewed and completed all pre-populated fields in the details tab, you can click save. And if you've taken notice in the top corner, a green box would appear advising you that you have saved and created the job request successfully. And a new screen will show you some extra fields. As you can see, a job request number has been allocated to this job request. A new tab has popped up which allows you to convert the job request directly to a job. An attachments tab which will allow you to add images and files directly to the job request library. And an online button. So this button allows you to change the status of the asset so that this job request is associated with. When you click the online button, a pop-up will appear prompting you to provide a reason for change. For example, the car is not drivable. And when you click save, it'll take you back to the job request screen and the status is now offline. Thank you for watching and be sure to access our Smart Asset video library for more helpful tips. And if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on support at smartasset.com.au.